Hello there, this is Sean Grizzly. Welcome to volume 12 of our C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take a quick look at define procedures. Okay. <clears throat> a procedure is another name for a different area of code on your project. For example, we have a main procedure here. We can have a second, a third, etc. But they all have to be called different things. I'll go into that into the next tutorial, but before I do that, I want to discuss define procedures. Okay, let's take a look at this. If we wanted to output, say, the square of a number, the square of 2 is 4, it's 2 times 2. You know, it's something like 2 squared, 4 squared, stuff like that. Okay, so if we wanted to do that, but we didn't want to type out 2 times 2 every time, you know, just display the answer of 2 times 2. Yeah, it will give us 4, but it's a bit tedious, so... These are the advantages of using defined procedures. So if we wanted to square 2, we'd know it equals 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. We can use that to create our defined function up here. Oh, remember, casing does matter, that's why it didn't turn blue there. So we're defining square, we're using square here to square our numbers. It's using one parameter. Remember when I briefly discussed parameters here? It's the section in after the procedure inside the brackets. So we've got two there. You can put anything there you like. Okay. And that is all we have to do. Remember, define statements are pre-processing, so you don't have a semicolon. Let's try and break this up a little. When the program runs, it's trying to output this. Now, what is this? Well, it's a procedure. We've defined the procedure with the value 2 in it. This 2 is being passed into this x. So it's like saying int x equals 2. This now equals 2, this x part here. Next to it, is something like curly braces but it's just single brackets it's like your procedure header here like main you've then got your curly brace there like so and there's your code here but for the purpose of this we're just putting it on one line and these aren't curly braces they're brackets so what we're doing this is the code all it's doing is squaring itself x times x and it passes it back back to here and displays it. So hopefully it will display 4. Let's new line that at the end. And when we run, 4. OK, let's try something else. Cube. 3. I don't know if any of you know the answer to the cube of 3 offhand. I think it's 27. Okay, let's make up a new rule for this. All we have to do, we're cubing it, so we're doing it three times there. Oh, we've got a quick error. Cube undeclared. Oh, yes, I see. I haven't typed cube here. And there we go. Hopefully that should work now. And there we go. The square of 2 is 4. The cube of 3 is 27. Okay, I have been Sean Grizzly. This has been a quick glance at the use of defined procedures. Thank you for listening to the tutorial. Goodbye.